So with each one of these controls, they are objects. So they have properties, methods, and events, just like any other class that you would create. So things like buttons have events. Now you can click on this little um, lightning icon, and that will give you a list of all the events that exist on this particular object. You can click on a text box, and you'll see text boxes also have a whole list of different events. This box also has its own list of different events. Now each object with its event has a default event. And for things like buttons, the default event is to click on it. Now when you wire up for an event, what you're doing is you're actually saying when a, an event occurs, like a button click, then there's a function that's created and that function gets called and the code inside of that function is what gets run or executed. So when we double click on this add to order button, we're given a C sharp class and inside of it we're given a function called button one underscore click. And it has two arguments. It has a sender and it has an event arguments arc. And then we're given an empty function. And basically here is where we write our code to handle the button click. Or as I like to always say, to do work. So this is where we would write our code to actually handle that button click when the user clicks the add to order button. So this is where your C sharp code will start to actually form and take place. And this is how you make your applications able to do fancy things like connect to databases, call out to web services, um, interact with flat files, whatever those actions are. It starts with handling some sort of an event or an action.